really even about a collection so much as it is mm. about the, the, it's really about you mm. and, and what you're creating. Um, what you, you know, what, what some, a project like this allows you to, sort of like almost a way of the journey that it allows you to go on, which I think, which is really fun. Um, because it's true, a beginning, middle, and end is mm. nice, but there's also something about it being open-ended as well. I don't even know where to begin. So the first time the, the patrons of this property explained to me, it was they were just talking about this test wall of concrete they poured for their construction project building a new pool house. And they had this leftover slab of concrete and they thought it would be cool to paint on it. After visiting the slab, you know, it kind of became more real and I saw that it was a huge opportunity because it was such an epic scale on this property right on the water and it was, you know, it was something that I could perhaps push to make something even bigger in a, in a larger scale project. They were fully supportive. I mean, from the get-go, they wanted me to, you know, have a bunch of creative freedom entirely to do something what, what, that I wanted which almost put more pressure on me. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but you know, in retrospect, I think made the decision to do something super out of the box and out of my comfort zone. I've never really done a series before in any of my artwork, and the, the intent of the projects from the owners, which is a great idea, was this ephemeral, evolving canvas on this super grounded concrete slab, so something to be painted over and over, kind of evolve. I knew I wanted to do a series, um, but you know, an actual short story that was written never crossed my mind till months after they kind of first introduced the idea. Um, and it was something that was super new to me, never done it before. It was kind of like a full-blown experiment. It's super simple and short, and that was kind of like methodically planned out because I wanted it basically to just be a picture book kind of for adults, you know, because even though it is, you know, simple in those regards, you know, I think it's true that you could say more with less, and so that's kind of the theme of, you know, trying to string together this story with only three pictures, 60 words per chapter, um, and only having three chapters. Each chapter is pretty much based off a color, and that color is kind of representational of that um, you know, environment or that emotion, that feeling, like yellow, the first chapter. It's shock, intrigue. She just stumbles across this flower. Red, passion, you know, love, a relationship is formed. And blue, you know, like loneliness, melancholy, loss. Um, the colors are extremely important. Um, and are another avenue to tell the story.
there was a lot of challenging things because there were so many moving parts, but the hardest thing for me was to successfully unify the written story with the visual murals and to have it kind of be seamless and not to have the murals be based off the writings and not have you know the writing based off the murals they're kind of you know you're walking around this wall and you see the image and you walk behind it and you see the words so it's kind of an experience to play off each other I was nervous that you know maybe it wouldn't make sense, maybe it wouldn't be um, super smooth, but you know I think that's for people to decide. What's next? Ooh, good question. What is next?